Let's talk to Eddie Tofpick. He's the head of technical analyses and senior markets analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Uh, very good morning to you, good Eddie. Good morning. Right, let's talk commodities. Let's kick off with gold. What's going on with gold? We talked about this 1300 round number exactly. psychological support. We've had this, the market coming in underneath it. We had the bounce up the day before, well, yesterday, really. Um, we're on scale at the moment for a, an, either an outside week or a key reversal week up. If that's the case, you're going to be looking up at 1360. But you're still caught between a sideways action. There's really, we haven't really gone above the high from two weeks ago. Right. You know, we, we still need something. The, the ranges have narrowed and narrowed and narrowed and narrowed. And so obviously you're going to get more chances of a key reversal or an outside week. Um, but it looks like we're going to have a key reversal or an outside week this coming weekend, this Friday. So and at the moment it looks towards the upside. The upside resistance is 1360. That's where the opportunity will go. It depends if we can get over 1340, which is the recent highs. We haven't done it yet. I'm not very keen about it until we see. I would imagine there'd be stops above 1340 because it would be a logical place to put some if there were. You'd put some buy stops on there for a run for 20 bucks. Okay, interesting. Um, let's move on to oil. Um, now, lots of technicians came on and were suggesting this was going to go lower. Um, no. It doesn't look bad no. to me on the No, charts. I've got everything pointing upwards right. at the moment. I mean, I even drew from the double bottom from back in mid February. I said that 6680 was, I mean, X has been on that chart. Other if, technicians, I hate um, to add. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> But it's, it's on target at the moment for a test up to 66.80, which is the previous high, the 2018 high. It's actually 83, I think it was, but 66.80, let's call it that. That would be the target from the double bottom back when we had the action originally um, back in February. It's not an unreasonable thing to get up there because that's the, there, there really isn't very much. You've got some stuff just over 66. So if it goes to 66.50, 66.30, you could possibly call it because there's a lot of resistance going back from that time back in January and February um, where there's a lot of resistance up there. But that chart is clearly more bullish and bearish. Isn't I haven't it? got a single, well, the only thing I've got is a busted downtrend line on there. Right, which is broken. Two day close above a key. One, yeah, today's close, if it goes above that, and that's 64.70, if we close above that, then, then it's, it's a, an opportunity to try up a 66.80. Yep. If it closes back below it, then what's going on? We may be coming back down to, I don't know, 62, 30 area, something like that, which is where the 50% Fib area is right now. Understood. Okay, let's wrap up with copper, probably the most difficult chart we look at on a weekly basis. Is it any clearer? Yes, uh, but not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yes, but. There's, there's, there's lots, let, well, the but is because there's still lines on it, and I'm trying to clear it up desperately. But remember I said to you, you had this arcing pattern, and we were at the cusp and starting to yep. come down but we were pa we're moving up and down within this band well we're starting to move further down we had the first real proper move down uh yesterday uh we've had proper moves down already but we had the really first we had a new low for 2018 and that's the key point we had a new low for 2018 we tried the 2016 today uptrend that's at 67.75 we actually closed just underneath it but it was only one close and today it sort of bounced back up straight away it's opened higher the long moving average of 66.85 is sitting below there like a huge thing that sits below things. And it's all of those two things are still acting as support. Yet the overhang of resistance is starting, the ammunition is starting to push it down, push it down. And one of the things that happened is the low yesterday. And that is uh, the new low yesterday. So it would be not unreasonable to expect a, a bounce up. The key is however it goes over 69.09, which is the, a load of area of congestion, 50% fib and stuff like that. So that's where the resistance is. If we close above that, then oh, maybe we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Right. But if we're not, then we look again, 67.75 and 66.85. It's still, it's now, if you imagine the arc, we were before just there, we're just there now. It sounds like we're in downtrend. I am, I've got uptrends on it, but... I'm telling you, at the moment, it's, it's with a new low for the year. There's your answer. Eddie, as always, great to see you. We'll see you, you. next week. That's Eddie Toffpick. Thank you.